What's up guys, it's Critical, and today I'm reviewing Days Gone. You play as the biker Deacon, short version Deek, long version my Deek. And you have a friend, his name is Booza, he uh, tattooed his head, probably an anal fabbit. He gets his arm, ah. and then they are stuck in the middle of nowhere and have to survive. Only problem, shit ton of zombies everywhere. Wow. And the guy is fucking useless. I mean, bro, stop trying to seduce me, cause it's working. <laughs> Like in any good story, there also is a love interest, and eh, I don't know how much I want to spoil. So just, you know, world fucked up, virus, bikers, love interest, and that's it. All I heard before I bought this game was like, it's mediocre, it's okay, blah blah blah. I played it, I was like, that's my groove. That's how I roll. I like it, stand more back please. I like it when developers take something basic and turn it into something sick. Bro, the menus, you know how they work? You swipe it. You just swipe it in a different direction. You swipe it and just swipe it. You just swipe it. Swipe it up, swipe it left, swipe it right, swipe it down. Depending where you swipe it, a different menu comes up. They are aesthetic. They are simple, intuitive, innovative. I haven't yet seen a game where it's all the way you just swipe to the menus. And the world, by far, the star of the show. Mysterious? Yeah. Cool? Yeah. Lonesome? I fucking love it. It has just a great overall vibe, man. It's all about the vibe. No matter what random house you go into, and by the way, you can almost go into every house you see. It feels truly lived in, and it does environmental storytelling so well. Like, what the fuck happened here? Why is the toilet seat up? Who put the goulash in the bathtub? But because it's a pretty vast map, you have to traverse the world. And for that, you just ride, man. Ride, tell you ride, man. Exploration is truly what I enjoyed the most here. It's almost what carries the entire experience. Amanda. SPAGHETTI! And maybe you remember from my Red Dead Redemption 2 review Wildlife really gets me going You got deer, bears, wolves And hunting works... Okay Days Gone is also fucking gorgeous at times. When I saw the gameplay before, it always looked like this kind of sad, hazy sort of forest, it's just boring. Hell no. The world is a lot more diverse than I expected. I saw schwamps, I saw snowy mountains, I saw at least two African Americans, but no Chinese. And because you spend so much time on your bike, the bike customization, whenever I can change something visually, whenever upgrades go hand in hand with visual changes, I am so down. I am so down. Now of course Days Gone is still an action game, so what's the combat like? And the combat is all right. It's just, it's, it's decent, it's decent. Now I'm gonna be more specific. It's not, not the best, but definitely good enough. For me, when I, when I hit something, yeah, it, it's all about the impact, yeah. I have to feel the impact. When I hit something, like the Impact. For example, there are these small zombie children, and although I don't condone violence against children, when I hit them, I I I, I did feel the impact. Yeah. <laughs> the skill system is divided into melee, ranged, and survival, and I feel like it's pretty well done. There, there's always a skill that seems necessary enough. There's, it's always rewarding. It's nothing out of the ordinary. Really basic, but. It's good, it's good, it's like Far Cry a little bit. In terms of weapon variety, the total amount of variety is good, but you don't get to see everything from the get-go. The game doles out the new weapons at such a slow pace that it's like, yeah, in the end, you have a good variety, but you, you'll be spending like hours on hours with the same guns until you can get the next one. Kind of, that's how, I, that's, how it, that's how it felt to me. It takes good features from so many games and puts them together. For example, how many games in the past like three years have added some sort of investigation feature? And Days Gone has that too. You can investigate shit. And by shit, I mean literal shit. So to summarize, nothing out of the ordinary, but not in a negative way. It just wants you, the player, to go into this world and enjoy it. But I'm sorry, now we have to talk about the negative. Oh, oh fuck, Lila. <laughs> they fucked up five things. Five big issues. Like, seriously, you. Th this is just fucked. So number one. The mission design, the fucking listening missions, are you serious? How many times do you have to go to these fucking helicopters, hide in the fucking bushes and listen to the fucking banal conversations? 
What also fucking pizzles me off is you walk 10 meters and then boom, loading screen, cutscene. Cutscene goes for 10 seconds, loading screen back to walking 10 inches and then back to loading screen cutscenes. How fucking disjointed, man. Either give me a cutscene and then let me play. Just, just make up your mind, fucking. Shithead. Now number two, story and characters. My man, the protagonist's personality is just complete crap anini. This is Democracy Manifest. Not funny. Nobody cares about your fucking biker lifestyle, bidaras. He's such an unrelatable piece of a Stalin! The story is also way too long. For the first half, you don't know, okay, what's the plot? What's the point of the story? You go from camp to camp to camp to camp and it's like what's the goal in German we call this roter Faden roter Faden is what you learn at school when you write something a story it has to have a roter Faden it's sort of a red uh, red uh, red uh, Faden line uh, Spannungsbogen uh, Arc de Suspense the entire way through I was like rum, rum, rum. this is fun but what's the plot <laughs> think about this the main villain appears in the last fourth of the game the ending is also what's the fucking story here bro the game stretches itself harder and wider than your mother's asshole when she gave birth to you because you in fact were born from your mother's anal canal next up the technical problems yikes first 10 hours almost no issues at all i thought what the fuck where are the technical problems i'm not experiencing any and the moment i said that but jinx the bird is flying against the fence the frame drops guys are ridiculous fucking Console piece of shit. When they announced the PlayStation 5, I was like, please give me 60 frames per second. That's all I want. Scratch that. Now all I want is 30 frames per second. Can we just consistently get 30? You're riding across the countryside and you get like... It gets really bad. And also, and this has been happening in the... Uh, uh, now, in the, my console keeps crashing and it fucking gets really hot. And there's a light on my PlayStation. I'm honest. I think this fucking game broke my PlayStation. You know this, this light on the PlayStation? Uh, it's like a light. Like a light, like a light, like a light. And all the small glitches. At some point, I tried to climb a fucking house and then he went into fucking... Free fall mode. Moron. Collision detection and hit feedback also isn't great. Don't you think that in a game where it's all about riding the bike, it should be fun to run over zombies and to fucking hit shit? Man, in this game, when you hit something with your fucking motorcycle, it's half broken. Fuck it is that? It also just, just doesn't feel good, you know? It doesn't feel right. It's like every time you hit something, you're like, oh. Shit. Issue number four, bike customization. Now I said before, I love visual upgrades and I do, but the bike is so core to the experience and it was like advertised with, you are this biker dude that's it's all about the bike and you can only ride the bike. So you're always on the fucking bike and that's great. But the bike customization is so basic. It's so linear. In this camp, you can get one more upgrade for your bike. Play for 10 hours, get to the next camp. You have one more upgrade for your bike. Give me some choice, man. Give me some. Like a skill tree, make it a complex, like awesome bike skill tree. Something that is so core to the experience should be way more fleshed out. And now guys, this is the most important point and this is the main reason why I am so hugely disappointed in this game. Zombie hordes? Fugazi, Digga, Fugazi! It's a lie! Where? Where are the zombie hordes? Bro, I'm gonna explain something to you now. The zombies in this game are a pseudo feature. I'm gonna explain what I mean by that. First of all, I l uh, 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 these massive zombie hordes that are as massive as in the E3 footage, they are extremely rare. Extreme. That happened to me once in the whole game when I had to engage with a massive zombie horde like this. Only once in the whole game. And when did that happen? It wasn't even part of a story mission. I went to the place they showed in the E3 and there, there was an actually impressive amount of zombies. But here's why it's a pseudo feature. First of all, it's super fucking rare and it barely ever happens. Most zombie encounters are very sporadic and like stealthy and what happens if you find a big zombie horde? What do you do? Guess what? You run away. You take your bike and you leave. This is not a feature. You look at it and you're like, wow, cool. But you can do nothing, and so you leave. Later on in the game, you get a heavy machine gun, then you can mow them down a little bit. But that happens way, way, way till the end. So it's a pseudo feature, ridiculous bullshit. Goodbye. Yet still, don't get me wrong, when the zombie hordes appear, especially in that sawmill, I really, I looked at it, I was like, that was legitness. And lastly, playtime, don't forget that it took me fucking 30 hours to finish this game. It's a huge game, there's still a lot to do, but don't forget, it's a lot of checklist gaming stuff, yeah? So like Ubisoft, you have on the map outposts that you clear. So as a final rating, I would say Days Gone is a you know what out of 10. Fucking Discord, they're gonna make fun of me if I say what it is. Fuck them.
going to say what it is. They know what it is. No, I'm not going to say it. Turn off the camera, it's done. Seven, you mean? Yeah, it's a seven. What can I do? It's a seven. Six. No, no, no. It, no, I'm not going to go. No, it's a strong seven. So hi, I hope you... Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yes, that is a sink. I thought at the end of every video, I'm going to talk about my favorite Reddit meme that they posted in the Ranton subreddit, which you should join. And uh, this week, my favorite uh, meme is the Shaolin for Honor. <laughs> Oh yeah, good job. Mbdani. That Photoshop is quite impressive. It's kind of a throwback because that video made me famous. Respect. So if you want your suggestion to be seen in the next video, go on the subreddit and post your memes. Uh, also, if you want to join the Discord, links in the description box. See you next time. Be sure to like the video if you liked it. Anthony out.